Hello everybody. Welcome to lecture 9 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. We are still in chapter 3 Freedom of Speech and in this lecture we are gonna discuss the following topics. The Global Net, Censorship and Political Freedom and the second topic is Net Neutrality Regulations or the Market. Let's get started in the first topic, the global net, censorship and political freedom. Tools for communication, tools for operations. This title looks strange a little bit, but there is a kind of truth. Because there are some countries use the communication tools to catch up protestants. The vibrant communication of the internet threatens governments in countries that lack political and cultural freedom. For example, email and fax machines played a significant role during the collapse of the Union of the Soviet Union. Another example, Facebook and cell phones were key tools in organizing what's called Arab Spring. Moreover, dissidents in some countries, such as Iran for instance, use uh, Skype to communicate because of its strong encryption. Therefore, some countries ban Skype. Before the revolution in Egypt in 2011, the Egyptian government, for example, spyware uh, to intercept Skype communication. They did not break Skype's encryption schema. Instead, it appears they planted uh, spy spyware on uh, people's computer that uh, intercepted a communication before it was encrypted. Uh, on the sender's computer or after it was decrypted on the recipient's computer. During the revolution, the government temporarily shut down the internet and uh, all cell phone services entirely. In addition, some countries attempt to limit the flow of information on the internet similar to earlier and uh, attempts to place limits on other communications media. Some countries on the internet backbone within their countries and block specific sites and content at the border. Some countries ban all or certain types of access to the internet. For example, the government of Iran at various times blocked some websites such as Amazon, YouTube, Wikipedia, etc. Also, uh, in our country, some websites, like the six websites, are blocked. But the reasons for uh, blocking these websites depend on the country or the government of the country. Here are two issues, avoiding censorship and creating censorship. Avoiding censorship, the global nature of the net allows restrictions in one country to be circumvented by using networks in others that less restrictive. This is like the people uh, who use proxy to open the plucked sites in their countries uh, and uh, in the opposite side uh, of the uh, avoiding censorship we have the creating censorship in which uh, the nature of the net or the global nature of the net makes it easier for one nation to impose restrictive standards on others this is an example of uh, ex of uh, a country that prevent use the using of internet in uh, its country uh, 
this example uh, of Taliban when they ban the use of internet in Afghanistan look at this discussion question and try to uh, think about this question with your classmate will the internet and related communication technologies be tools for increasing political freedom or will they give more power to governments to spy on control and restrict their people another issue regarding censorship and political freedom aiding foreign censors and repressive regimes we have here two examples Yahoo and French censorship the another example Skype and Chinese control Yahoo eBay and other make decisions to comply with foreign laws for business reasons Chinese government requires modified version of Skype companies uh, who do business in countries that control internet access must comply with the local laws for example in 2006 Google disappointed many free speech and human rights advocates by introducing a Chinese version in China that is Google dot CN this would comply with Chinese law its search re uh, results uh, did not show the sites with banned content now another related issue is the tools uh, used for surveillance what about selling these tools repressive uh, governments use these tools to uh, intercept citizens communications and filter internet also in the Western democracy uh, countries uh, they use these tools or sophisticated tools to do the same thing but the company said the tools are for criminal investigations now let's think about shutting down the communication in a country either it's free country or repressive country think about this question does shutting down communication services in free countries give excuses to dictators in unfree countries to answer this question think about the purpose for uh, which they shut down the connection for example in, in San Francisco they shut off wireless services at some of its train station after learning of uh, a plan to use mobile devices to coordinate uh, disruptive activities and uh, communicate about the location so the question did they threaten freedom of speech or where they take a safety decision I think the answer is clear now let's move to the next topic net neutrality this terminology refers to a variety of proposals for restrictions on how telephone and cable com companies interact with their broadband customers and set fees for services actually there are two different but related issues the first one whether the companies that provide the communications networks should be permitted to exclude or give different treatment to content based on the content itself the category of content or the company or organization that provides it the second issue whether the companies that provide the communications networks should be permitted to offer content providers and individual subscribers 
different levels of speed and priority at different price levels so the net neutrality argue for equal treatment of all customer equal treatment equ uh, includes charging all customers the same rate for sending information over the internet and not giving a priority to any particular content or customer on the other hand uh, in the market the flexibility and the market uh, incentives will benefit customers many internet content providers and large companies such as Microsoft Amazon etc net neutrality rules without the rules some argue they will have to pay higher rates arg uh, and communications companies will give special treatment to their own content providers at the end of this lecture discuss these questions what impact does the global net have on free speech second how does free speech in free countries impact more restrictive countries thank you for watching this lecture and see you next lecture goodbye